The wavelength of emission is not so stable, fluctuating with the change of ambient temperature. In 2009, uh, we invented a new type red uh, LEDs using europium doped gallium nitride, which works at a very low voltage, just three volts. Uh, this is a big breakthrough. We demonstrated a red emission under current injection. Auto power of the LED is increasing and increasing. Now uh, it is over 1 milliwatt. This is very useful for next generation micro LED display. In material science, we believe that the understanding of atomic structure and their related properties is indispensable for the device fabrication. Currently used conventional light emitters are significantly affected by the operating temperatures and the current injections. On the other hand, rare stopped semiconductors have narrow line wheels and very stable emissions. I'm currently working on the crystal growth and the device fabrications of nitride semiconductors. The nitride semiconductors are very promising materials for optical devices. We applied ultra-fast spectroscopy to European doped gallium nitride system, and we found that uh, the energy transfer from a gallium nitride host crystal to a European ion is very, very efficient. The transfer speed is one picosecond range. Well, the uh, decay time of European ion is of the order of 100 microseconds, so we have uh, an order of magnitude difference here. We are doing cathode luminescence spectroscopy to investigate the optical properties, and we confirm that the material is very suitable for the uh, fabrication of micro light emitting devices. This laboratory is the only group which can produce the rare earth doped semiconductors. And moreover, this laboratory can cover the whole uh, research field, including the growth fabrication and the optical characterization, structural characterization, and the device fabrications. I'm currently working on manipulating the photons from the rare earth element luminescence by combining these materials with nanocavities or nanostructures such as the photonic crystals, microdisks, or DBR structures. The objective of this research is to enhance the absolute power by enhancing the radiative recombination probability. The research in Osaka University is unique uh, because uh, the collaboration uh, between different groups and also different divisions and different departments, it is very easy. So for theoretical group, uh, it is very important uh, to have a good collaboration with ex experimental groups. In collaboration with Fujiwara group, we focus on the rare stopped gallium nitride as a promising material for LED. By calculating electronic structure of layers in uh, gallium nitride, uh, we can predict optical properties of that material based on quantum mechanics. Rare stopped semiconductor are new materials. Uh, there are a lot of uh, research target for experimentalists and uh, theorists. Global collaboration is very important. We are now collaborating with, for example, United States and the Netherlands. Uh, we have already published many joint papers on new aspects of the materials. My research group has worked with Professor Fujiwara for the last 10 years. I've been fortunate enough to work in his lab as a visiting researcher every summer since 2012. The benefits of working with Osaka University and having an international collaboration is that it offers multiple perspectives from which to tackle a single problem. Osaka University provides us with facilities that not only allow us to design the materials we're working with, the shape, the structure of the materials, but also allows us to further fabricate them into photonic structures, such as micro cavities or micro disks. We have been working with the group of uh, Professor Fuchivara now for more than 10 years, and it has been uh, very fruitful. We have uh, developed specialized spectroscopical techniques where we do what we call 
combined excitation emission spectroscopy. We can determine the different ways that ion is incorporated and we can distinguish them spectroscopically. That allows us to study them individually and then we can try to optimize for that. Future plan is to realize raising and the current injection because the material is found uh, to have optical gain. If we realize raising and the current injection, conventional layers laser working and uh, optical pumping can be put in our pocket. Uh, this is a big impact, I believe.